Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brandy Victoria from Madden Noir, and I'm here with your Reckless Reality Recap, Love and Hip Hop New York, episode four. Jen was crying again like she does every single episode of Love and Hip Hop. So my question is, every episode, are we gonna see Jen cry? First, she was crying because she didn't have any money. Then she was crying because she was hungry. Now she's crying because her child's gonna be raised a Muslim, even though she agreed that her child was gonna be raised a Muslim, and now she's upset because her child won't celebrate Christmas. For me, there's always still that hope that we'll figure it out and maybe I'll get a little bit of me. My mom didn't have a lot of money when we were growing up, but she made Christmas so important, just the little things she did for us. Baking the cookies, like just that hope and that belief. I mean, does Goldilocks think that she's just gonna walk in and bat her eyes and everything is gonna be poof, Christmas cookies during Ramadan? Are you kidding me? Like, how long have you two been together? Why are you just having these discussions now after you had a child? It doesn't make any sense at all. Actually, we should call this episode Things to Think About Before You Have a Child with Someone. For once, I'm on Rocky's side, or what do they call her, IP? Something like that. She's right about that. She may not know what's going on with Joe Budden in that whole situation, but as far as having discussions about what religion your child's gonna practice, Rocky's right about that. Joe Budden. I want to see somebody's birth certificate because what I don't understand is how you're like 32, sometimes 28, you've been off drugs for 14 years, but you haven't dated to hearing in five years, and she knows though what you've been like when you were on drugs. None of it makes sense. And then she shows up to your house unannounced, barges in with the at-home drug test, which who knew they had at-home drug tests. And then he pees with the door open, pulling a Jocelyn loving Hip Hop Atlanta move, all to say he's not on drugs. Anyone who watches the show and sees his little weird giggle would know he's probably on something or may have a few residuals, just saying. Well, four episodes into the show, again, it's not loving Hip Hop Atlanta, which is not necessarily a bad thing. There's a couple of things I'm looking forward to seeing. One, is this situation with Mandis is gonna come out. Because if you noticed last night, Yandy said that when Mandis told her he was almost gonna cry over their baby having surgery, that reminded her of the man that she wanted to be with. Kinda want you to, to, to think a little bit better about that one. Um, number two, we really wanna see can Erica Mina actually hold a tune? Cause if you remember last season, when she tried to get out one line, it was a hot mess. Olivia. What's going on with the singing career? That's all I want to see. Thanks for watching this Reckless Reality Recap. To see what happened in episodes one through three, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Madame Noir. <laughs>